Russell Brand locked me in dressing room and pinned me to sofa, he had glazed look and became very nasty, claims woman. A woman claims Russell Brand pinned her down in his dressing room after telling her, this is what you're here for. His latest accuser, who does not want to be named, said he also had the glazed look seen by other alleged victims. She told how she was 21 when she first met the comedian and actor after a show in 2008 at London Soho Theatre. She went to another a few weeks later in Chelsea, when she and a pal were invited to an upstairs bar for drinks. The woman said, as I went in, I stumbled, spilling my entire drink onto Russell's leather trousers. I was so embarrassed but he leaned into me and said, oh dear. I remember him helping me up but he was so close to me. It was really leery. She said Brand, then 33, asked for her number, and later sent requests for saucy photos. The woman recalled, eventually I sent him a picture in a bra and pajama shorts. After another gig in West London, two security guards led her and a friend upstairs. She said, I thought we were going to a bar. But when the door opened and I realized it was his dressing room my heart sank and I felt nervous. Russell was sitting with his feet up eating strawberries. He pointed at us and said, I want you and you to get on the sofa. She said he then asked them to perform sex acts on each other, which they refused. She added, he was really persistent, saying, come on, you're here now. Go on do it, you know you want to do it, and this is what you're here for. The woman said her pal got angry and left, leaving her alone with him. She claimed Brand forced her onto the sofa, adding, I was trying to push him off and saying, I have to go, I have to find my friend. He was kissing me on my neck and holding me down. He was telling me to stay. This went on for about 10 minutes or so until he stopped. Something in him switched and he became very nasty, very fast. He started saying, don't you know who I am? Why wouldn't you want to do this? She said he told her to get out, later sending her an apology for being so persistent. The woman claimed she never heard from him again after replying, if someone says no then you can't pressure people. She told how she did not think police would take it seriously. But she said C4's dispatches, on which Brand was accused of rape and sexual assault by a string of women, brought it all back. She added, when I heard one talk about the glazed overlook, I knew exactly what she meant. Brand, 48, who has denied serious criminal allegations, was approached for comment.